So what we're doing is we're working areas of water with a depth of between eight and 12 feet. Areas that are situated a little bit closer to deep water because you have these muskies transitioning out of the shallower water and into the deeper water. So it's a good area to focus on early in the season. So what we're fishing with uh, are crankbaits and they're crankbaits between five and six inches long. They're getting us down between six and eight feet of water and they float, which is nice because I like again to twitch and pause and let the bait float up to try to trigger a strike. I'm working these crankbaits really fast and aggressive, reeling a couple cranks, pulling it and letting it sit. When you let it sit, the fish usually will strike a floating bait. So always crank it, pause and wait, reel it fast, twitch, wait, and when you get close to the boat, let it float up to the surface because that usually will trigger a striking muskie. Okay, when we're casting these crankbaits out here, you want to have a nice uh, heavy duty reel, heavy duty rod. We're using a 7 foot 10 rod. Nice and stiff, got a good backbone for a hookup. Uh, 50 to 80 pound test, I wouldn't go any lighter than 50. Make sure on the end you have a nice uh, wire leader. A lot of guys rock fluorocarbon, but I prefer the wire because they can still chew through that fluorocarbon. As you can see, we're dealing with a lot of floating leads. So another benefit of working crankbaits really fast is that as you're yanking it and twitching it, you're actually removing any weeds that might have accumulated on the bill of your lure. One thing you want to make sure of when you're on the water is you have all the proper tools to get these fish into the boat, but out of the boat just as fast. You want to make sure you got boga grips, a good set of pliers, hook cutters in case you need to cut any hooks. Um, and remember, get your pitchers in quick, get the fish back in the water and on its way.